What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. Check out the Pokemon that we are rocking out with today. Today, we got ourselves a Weakness Policy Ho-Oh team that also features Power Herb Lunala and Umbreon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button, join the community, and stay up to date with all of my content. It really goes a long way. So I give a huge shout out to every one of my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. You guys are definitely the real ones. But we're rocking out with this Ho-Oh team. So let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only Ho-Oh. We got Generator ability alongside with that Weakness Policy. Once this thing gets proccing with the Weakness Policy, its attack stats go through the roof. And alongside with how bulky it already is, it is just a phenomenal Pokemon. It can stay in the battle for a while and take out Pokemon left and right. We got Sacred Fire, Brave Bird, both for our stab moves. Then we got Earthquake and Protect for our coverage and our Protect move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be right next to him. It is going to be our second Restricted Mon. It is going to be that Lunala. It's got the Shadow Shield as its ability, alongside with the Power Herb as its item, so it can use Meteor Beam in one turn and get that special attack boost instantly. We got Moon Geist Beam for stab, Meteor Beam, like I already said, for our coverage move, Moon Blast for coverage, and Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Middle left is going to be this lovely little Sneasel with the Inner Focus ability and Focus Ash, so it can't get one tap. We got Triple Axle, Fake Alpha Flinches, Surf, and Icy Wind for Speed Control. And Surf's there to proc that Ho-Oh's weakness policy. So we can pair them up right there with Ho-Oh and Sneasel. We can get our Surf out there, we can Fake Out, or we can just go for Icy Winds and get Speed Control. So I really do like that combo and hope that we get to show it off in at least one of the battles. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be everybody's favorite Eeveelution. Not everybody's, but a lot of people's favorite. It's going to be Umbreon. Inner Focus and the Room Service as its item. Room Service, if you guys do not know what it does, when someone pops Trick Room, this Pokemon comes into battle, its speed is actually going to lower to actually help it out in the Trick Room. So, really, really good item for going up against Trick Room teams. We got Foul Play, we got Snarl, we got Yawn, and we got Moonlight for HP Recovery. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Kai Ogre counter, and that is going to be Storm Drain Gastron over here. We got the Wiki Berry as its item, alongside with the Storm Drain ability, like I already said. And we got Scald, Earth Power, Yawn, and Protect, which is a fairly normal moveset for any Gastron. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Serene over, over here. We got Queenly Majesty as its ability alongside with the Cobra Berry as its item. Haven't seen this Pokemon too, too much in Series 12. It was really good in, uh, what was it, Series 11 and Series 10. But ever since Series 12 came along, you kind of seen it drop off a lot. But hopefully we get some wins with it, get to showcase it to its fullest potential again. Move set we're rocking with is going to be Power Whip for Stab, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods. You turn to Pivot out, and obviously, final move is going to be Protect. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. You guys know where the mental code is. You really need to know just maybe like look at the bottom of the screen yeah it's right there it's at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that ranked double ladder let's get some wins with this ho-oh lunala and umbreon team i don't know why but your boy's feeling good today i'm feeling good today looking to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one we're going up against a samazetta and you felt the team alongside with thunderous Landorus, Incineroar, and Robum. So those bottom four Pokemon are definitely looking scary. I don't know why, but then we got Zamazetta, which makes me feel all right because Zamazetta is off meta. But if you look at my team, we're rocking off meta all day long. But I think we're going to Sneasel and Ho-Oh combo. Try to get the policy proc and try to roll out from there. So I'm going to lead these two and get more from there. The Intimidates can do me dirty. I do not like... I do not like those Intimidates. Not one bit. Not one bit. So you know what? Do I even go Ho-Oh for a lead and maybe just go Lunala? Power Herbin up. I can fake out from there and kind of roll out. It's looking really good. He has a lot of solid moves up against a lot of these Pokemon. The Lunala is an absolute must, but I might lead him. I think I'm going to go Lunala here. Try to take Speed Control with Sneasel. And then roll out from there. Bring Ho-Oh in the back end. And then last but not least, we go Serene. Or we can lead Serene, so just so he can't fake out. There's possibilities. What do I do? Or do I go Umbreon? Umbreon could be nice. Foul play. Rip up some damage. Who do I want here? Who do I want? It's either Umbreon or Gastron. Who does Jeans want? I'm gonna go Umbreon. I am gonna go Umbreon. We can yawn. We can put Pokemon to sleep. We have the Foul Play. I'm digging it. I'm digging the Umbreon. I feel like Lunala and uh, Ho-Oh are gonna be doing our heavy lifting, so we can just get them rolling out from there. I feel like we can do pretty good. I feel like we can do pretty good, but let's see who this guy's leading. Let's see who this guy's leading. I really want to go Sneasel and Ho-Oh, but Ho-Oh is a physical attacker, so I was just like, if he drops an Intimidate on me, that could be rough for us. Which he has a high chance of doing. Let's see who he goes into. Bum, 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 bum. No intimate. Are you kidding me? How oh could have been thriving here. We're going to go Lunala. We're going to go Sneasel here. That's totally fine by me. I could go uh, Icy Wind into a Meteor Beam. I'm really leaning towards that right now. Or I could just, you know, obviously fake out here as well. Which I might just do. Go Triple Axle. But, you know, we're going to fake out the Zamazetta. I'm going to get this uh, special attack boost right here. I'm going to drop a big old Meteor Beam. A big old... 
Major League. Let's rip into it. Let's get it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah, if I can get Lunala set up with this plus one special attack and be at decent HP, I wouldn't mind Dynamax him and just keep Speed Control Icy Wind. We have pretty good play for us because we will still have our Focus Ash next turn because you know we're going to be faking out this Amazetta. And we can't get one tapped unless he sends a G Max move that changes weather. Drops Hailstorm on me, maybe a rock, but like, well, what Thunders really is rocking those moves? Not too many. Not too many. Usually rock like a bunch of coverage moves, but none of them are weather changing, right? It's usually Ice, Brick Break, uh. Actually, no. Do they do they really rock ice moves? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Fake Out's going to poke here. And I think we still get our special attack. He did protect. But Meteor Beam's going to come out here, right? And we charge up. Yeah, we still get our special attack. I don't really care that we didn't do any damage. I can Dynamax here. Kind of roll out. Could, do, could work wonders for us. But a good protect by him. A great protect by him. But we're still plus one on special attack. I'll take that all day. And I might Dynamax my boy here. Let's go Icy Wind. And then Dynamax and maybe let's do a Phantasm. We could lower defense. What do I want to do here? Do I just want to dump on the, uh, the Tornadus or do I want to do damage over on the Zamazetta? I think I want to do damage over onto the Zamazetta right now. He's going to withdraw. Yep, he withdraws him. So we're not going for the Rock Move. That's a great call for us. And who's he going to fly into? He's going to go right into Rillaboom. That's totally fine by me. He's going to set up that Grassy Surge. And we're going to get a nice little super effective shot onto him. Which isn't going to do too much damage, but at least we get that special attack drop. And this is exactly why I was thinking about bringing Serene was for Queenly Majesty. It could, it could uh, dodge fake outs, it could dodge grassy glides, it can really help us out in the battle. But I was just like, other than that, it doesn't really do too, too much. So I'm cool with just uh, going out from here. And we do have Ho-Oh in the back end, which is wonderful. Which is just gorgeous. Which is just gorgeous for that Rillaboom. Flying and fire, Rillaboom's two biggest fears. Two biggest fears right there. This is going to outspeed everything. Icy Wind pop it through here. I'm going to say, hey, yo, slow down there, everybody. Slow down there. And I wonder what Rillaboom's going for. I wonder what Rillaboom's going for. Oh, no, he just swapped them. Okay, so never mind. So I'm gonna, uh, probably going to go last year because that was my one. Lunal should go next. Yes, sir. Lunal's going to drop the Phantasm. And can this KO? It might. Let's see. Very close. Very, very close. We might want to just go for a straight triple axe to try to finish that thing off. It is the fence drop, so triple axe might be your call next turn. Let's see what he goes into. Samazet is going for the Behemoth Bash. That's fine. That is fine. That's going to bring my Sneasel down to Focus Ash. And I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. Because now he either has to Grassy Guide into me to take me out. Or or we're going to take out his, uh, what's it called? Or, he's gonna, or we're going to take out his Amazetta. Because from here, I'm just going to drop a, uh, I might just drop a Phantasm over onto that, uh, Robo and try to get off some more damage onto him. I do not want to waste a turn right now in Dynamax with this, uh, onto this, uh, Zamazetta. So from here, I really think I could change up terrain. I could change up terrain if I really want to. Drop a Starfall. That ain't bad, because Phantasm is probably not going to take him out regardless, so I could just change up terrain. The yeah, I'm going to do. I'm going to change up terrain. I don't feel like dealing with it later. He's going to go for the glide into him. Okay. I'm waiting all day. I'm with it all day. That lets my Sneasel go, and we have a chance to KO here. Two. Give me the third one. We get the third one. And we don't get the KO. What you mean? We don't get the KO. Get out my face. Get out my face. We do not get the KO. That is whack. We're going to drop a Starfall onto this Rillaboom. I'm cool with that. We're going to change up to Rain. We're going to say, Ayo, hey, knock that off. No more first turn priority for you. No more first turn priority for you. And I can't believe we didn't KO that thing. This thing's going for the Behemoth Bash. Now, is that going into Lunala again? I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day if that goes into Lunala. See what he does. Yep, into my Lunala. That does some big damage, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because from here, Icy Wind. Actually, we could do that. Yeah, we're definitely going to Icy Wind here. What do I triple act for? Each one's going to take him out. He's on one, and then we'll just Phantasm to finish off the Rillaboom. I am cool with that. He might swap the Rillaboom. We'll see. But I'm hoping I can get Sneasel in up against these last two Pokemon. See what happens here. He's going to protect. That's totally fine. We're going for the Icy Wind here. He's going to get blocked. And that will actually leave Sneasel in here for another turn. Sneasel can just start keep Icy Wind in and going from there. So there's that. Slow down onto the Real Boom. We're going to be able to take out the Real Boom here as well. Which is gorgeous. And we don't have to worry about him popping into the terrain for first and priority later on in the match. So, I actually wasted out my Dynamax turns really well. Really, really well. 
I wish that triple axe would have gotten the kill because if it would have, I would have been able to get off another huge shot onto a Pokemon. It would have been sitting good. It would have been sitting wonderful because I would have just triple axled into the uh, real boom there. I probably could have been able to take it out. Would have did a lot more damage than what it did up against that Zamazetta. All day. All day, but we'll take that KO. We have Zamazetta down onto like one HP. It's pretty slow right now. Sneasel should be able to outspeed whatever he has to bring out unless he brings out a fake out user. Unless he brings out a fake out user. So we'll see. He's going to go into Yavelta here. And Yavelta does have Sucker Punch. But I can definitely see him Dynamax him. I can definitely see a Dynamax coming out. So, you know what? I'm going to Icy Wind. I'm going to try to take out Zamazetta with that. Slow down Yavelta and roll off from there. All right? Got to be my play. Do that. And then just send a Moon Blast. Moon Blast will do the most damage. We're hoping. We're hoping that Sneasel can go first. Just slow down everybody. Take out the Zamazetta. And then we can... If we can get off one Moon Blast here, I think this battle could be ours. It definitely does good. Because, again, we're plus one. We're plus one on a special attack. Really good. He's going to try to protect Zamazet again. That fails. That's gorgeous. And Sucker Punch is flying through. You son of a biscuit. And he goes into Lunala. He goes into Lunala. Wow. That's rough. He goes into Lunala, but at least we get the Sneasel. I like that a little bit. I like that. As long as we can get the Speed Control here. Speed Control is going to work wonders for us. Speed Control is going to work wonders. We get rid of Zamazetta. We drop speed on Yvelta. But dude, that Sucker Punch coming in hot, man. It came in way too hot. Came in way too hot. And now we can bring out... We can bring out Umbreon. I think Umbreon's going to be the play. We have Snarl. If I can just start dropping special attack. Woo! It'd be gorgeous. For us. Start putting Pokemon to sleep too. We have to wait for his terrain to head out here first. And who's going to... Who's he going to Dynamax is a real question. Who's he Dynamaxing? That's the real question. That is the real question. So I want to slow both of y'all down. Slow you guys down. And I'm going to yawn over onto... Mm, how many turns left in terrain? I think we have to wait. I think we have to wait. Wait a turn. You know, I'll just foul play here. I will just foul play. I think he's going to Dynamax the Thunderous. So I want to go for a Snarl, but we know he's Defiant. We know he's Defiant, so Snarl could, could come back to bite us. So we still have Ho-Oh in the back end. He has a Dynamax. We do not. And I really, I'm really wondering who he's going to Dynamax. I'm thinking it's going to be Thunderous. But next turn, we can put him We can put him to sleep with Eon, which could be... Let's see. It is going to be Thunder. So, Foul Play is going to fly through here. If we can get off this Icy Wind, it could be good. But I think he is just going to suck a punch and take out my Sneasel. Not my Sneasel, dude. Not my Sneasel. Leave him alone. Sucker Punch flying. He does not go for Sucker Punch. We love that. We love that. So, we get that. Ooh. Ooh. We actually. Ah. I was telling myself Defiant, but. Mmm. But I forgot about the Icy Wind. So, we Defiant boost him. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Lightning's going to fly here. Going to Umbreon. Umbreon should be able to soak that up. And we do have Foul Play ready to roll. Umbreon should outspeed and be able to get off a nice, lovely Foul Play. Nice, lovely Foul Play. Switch up terrains too. Foul Play's flying. Uh, send it. And that's some big old damage. This thing's going to go for Oblivion Wing. Can you take out, can you take out Sneasel here? Now you go after my Umbreon. How dare you? How dare you? Okay, so now the, what's the call here? I want to Icy Wind. I really want to Icy Wind here. I really want to Icy Wind just so Ho-Oh can outspeed the, uh, the Thunderous. Could be good. That could be good. But we'll, we'll, I got to see the speeds on this Ho-Oh first. We might be able to outspeed it already. So what was Umbreon speed? Umbreon speed is sitting at a 73. What's Ho-Oh speed? Ho-Oh should be able to outspeed the Thunderous. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to go for a Triple Axel. And I'm just going to drop a nice little Sacred Fire into you. Oh, should be able to outspeed him, right? He guards. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Velta shouldn't be able to do that much damage. He's going to Sucker Punch into me. That's fine. Wow, that actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Way more than... Why did it do so much damage? Hit him again. Hit KO. Why did that do so much damage? That did so much damage for no reason. What's my play call here? What is my play call? We definitely want triple axle into him. Do I protect the bird? It's gonna come down the wire. I don't think I need to protect the bird. Do I protect the bird? I'm trying to think. Because if I protect the bird and he goes to a sucker punch, we can block that all day. And then just take him out with Sneasel. 
But if he reads that protect and takes out Sneasel, then he gets the win. But say I go into this. You know, we're just going to do this. I think this should be fine for us. I think this should be fine for us. Sucker Punch comes through on the ho oh. I know, dude. We're going to lose. It's rough. Should have protected the ho. -Oh. I had it. I had it. I overthought it. I overthought it. We had it in the bag. We had that win in the bag. Protect the ho -Oh, and that's a win. We had that in the bag. We had it in the bag. We had it in the bag. How do I flub it? I overthought, dude. I overthought. We protect the ho -Oh. That is a big win for us. But there it is, guys. 0-1. Definitely should be 1-0. Let's hop into a second. Look for a first victory. I can't believe I didn't protect my ho -Oh in that last battle. I just can't believe it. I had it in my head. I was just like, yeah, we should protect them. But then I started overthinking. I don't know why my head was just like, if I double down, I'm going to win. I don't know why. I don't know why. And then he sucker punched right into Ho-Oh. -Oh, and then my Sneasel took him out. And then he had the speed. It was over with. It was over with. But yeah, if I would have protected, Sneasel would have taken out Yvelta. Uh, Thunderous would have maybe went after Ho-Oh. -Oh, and Ho-Oh should have been able to eat it up through protect. But either way, if Sneasel was alive or Ho-Oh -Oh was alive, we outspeed him and we pick up the KO for the victory. But... Did not turn out that way. We're hopping into our second here. Let's grab ourselves a first win. Going up against a Groudon and a Calyrex team. And who should I lead here? Who should I lead here? He could go in with a uh, Wimscott for the lead. I might go Sneasel and Ho-Oh combo here. It's looking pretty good for me. I do dig it. If he goes into Serena over here to block the fake out, we can just drop it with a Sacred Fire. So I am digging that. I'll bring Umbreon in here as well because, you know, it has foul play for that Calyrex and that Groudon. And then last but not least, do we go Gastro or Serena over here? We're doing now. We got Lunala. We got Lunala. Let's bring in that same squad. We got to give them redemption. We have to give these boys redemption all day. All day. Because they know they should have won that battle. But his jeans made a mistake. I'll take this one on the chin. This one's all me. This one's all me all day. But time to grab ourselves a win. Time to grab ourselves a win. Dang it, dude. That one, that one, that one hurts. That one hurts. Definitely hurts. Definitely hurts. But this guy's rocking the gold miner helmet. We love it. He's going to go Entei and Ground and just leave the sun combo. The sun combo coming out here. I could fake out and, uh, or I could just... I could straight up surf. Surf and change up weather is looking pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice here. Looking real nice. Looking real nice. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna surf. I'm gonna say, Ayo, this weather. Actually, we don't have rock. Why do, why do I feel like we had rock? Why do I feel like we had rock? I could go into an airstream. Quake is looking good, but these guys are physical attackers, so I'd rather, I'd rather grant a little bit of speed here. Or I can pick up a KO. What do I wanna do here? Could take out the Entei here in this uh, Icy Wind next turn. I'm leaning towards that. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that. Let's roll it. Let's run it. Run it, run it, run it. Let's get this Dynamax off. Going out strong, baby. Going out strong. Why do I feel like we had Rock? Even though I I, I kind of like this weather. I'm with this weather. It, it helps out my ho -Oh. It definitely helps out my ho -Oh. Yeah, I was going to go for an airstream, but I was just like, let's get this special defense boost in case he's rocking a special attacker in the back end. Like, uh, like Rotom. Rotom could come in here and do me dirty. It'd definitely be scary. But let's see. Surf's going to come through here. Yeah, I'll eat. We proc and policy, baby. Look at that. Four damage? That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So now we're bulky and we are boosted on attack. Loving it. They're going to go next. Eruption's going to fly here. That's fine. Sneasel's going to be able to soak. Put them on one. And who's going to go next? Who's going to go next? Probably the Entei, right? Rock Side's gonna come through here and... Wow! Oh no, that's Groudon's Rock Side. Wow, that did a lot of damage to my ho -Oh. A little bit too much damage to my ho -Oh. Me no likey. Me no likey. We're gonna be able to take out Entei here. And dang, that did me dirty with the double attacking moves. Entei's gonna be gone here, no problem. And where do we go from here? Who do I rock out from here? We have the Lunala. It's fine. We, we do have the what's called as well, the Umbreon. The Umbreon could be good. Umbreon could definitely be good. What do I want to do? I could yawn him. Go into a moonlight. Go into here. We could go wide guard. I'm leaning towards the wide guard here. Wide guard play? Looking real good. Looking real good. If he wants to drop another rock side, he can drop another rock side. We're going to wide guard it, and we're just going to uh, try to get rid of this uh, guy on. Or at least take speed. Serene's going to come out here. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I'm cool with that. So, you know what? Wide guard, just so this, you know, the rock side doesn't come through. And then we're just going to go for an airstream. And then we do damage onto the Groudon. Yeah. I'm going to do damage over onto the Groudon. We're rolling out after. Wide guard looking to clutch up here. This could be a big turn. This could be a big turn if we can block this rock side and keep my ho-ho alive and take speed. Woo! 
be thriving. We could be thriving, but triple axle is looking kind of scary. And that's Shireen over there. Wide guard coming out here. Send it. You show me a rock side coming out from you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And what is Shireen going for? What is Shireen going for? What are you going for, Shireen? We outspeed, which is gorgeous. So we're going to get this airstream out and about. Which is a lovely turn there. And we get rid of ground. That is huge. That is huge, baby. That's a huge turn for us. That's a huge turn for some jeans. So up Umbreon in the back end. He might have Calder X ready to roll. Let's see what Serene's going for. What you cooking up, girl? Seed bomb. Oh, that's easy eats, baby. It's easy eats for Lunala. That's easy eats for Lunala. We love it. We love it. So now we're plus one on the speed board. I'm gonna airstream another shot into Serene. Get him a bit more speed. I'm gonna drop a meteor beam on whoever he throws out here. It's gonna be Cali. Cali coming out here. Cali, Cali, Calyrex. What a wide guard. What a wide guard from jeans, baby. We love it. No more berries allowed to be eaten on the field. That's totally fine. We're dropping this airstream. We're going straight into. Ooh. We go meteor. What's going to do more damage? Meteor beam or moon guys? Meteor beam gets us that plus one. We're sending it, yo. We're sending it this way. And we're going to take out the serene. He's going to have to dynamax. He's going to have to dynamax the Calyrex. He's going to have to dynamax the Calyrex. Unless he wants to pop a trick him this turn. Which is definitely an option. It's definitely an option. But we still have our. Uh, a room service Umbreon in the back end. Lower its speed for tricking. Could work wonders. Could work wonders for us. But nah, he's gonna straight up Dynamax. He's gonna straight up Dynamax, which I do not mind. I do not mind it one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. So there's the Dynamax. So far, play the game's wide guard. Wide guard was gorgeous from us. It's gorgeous from us. It's great play from us. Let's see what he does from here. No protects coming out here. Beautiful. No protects. Niles gonna go first. Just, just, just amazing. Just amazing. That means how it goes next. We could drop a nice little uh, airstream <clears throat> and take out Serene if it's not Sash. If it's not Sash. But there's plus one for special attack. We we'll drop a nice big old meteor beam and get off some big old damage. Big old damage, which we love. Airstream's gonna fly through here. Serene, get out my face, right? Dropping this thing, no problem. Go on, let's go. That's pretty much GG's. That's pretty much GG's. Because from here, he's either gonna have to take a Moon Geist beam from a Lunala now or a. Uh, a sacred fire from Ho-Oh. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And then Umbreon comes in the next slot and can foul play all day. Hailstorm's gonna fly here. Who you taking out? That's my question. Who you taking out? He's gonna take out my Ho-Oh. That's... I'm cool with that. Bye, Ho-Oh. Thanks for coming. Thanks for doing your work. So, yo, dude, that Pokemon with weakness policy? He a menace. He's a menace. Rock does do us dirty, though. That's why it did so much damage. It wasn't sad, but it's four times super effective. It's with fire and flying. Both of them are weak to Rock. So, four times super effective. Really does dirty. He choking the ace boost, but yo, it's over with. It's gone. I apologize to this guy. Moon Guy's Beam coming in hot. Moon Guy's Beam is coming in hot. It's gonna do uh, more damage than uh than that meteor beam. Because it's sad. Because it's hundred, it gets to 1.5 times multiplier. It's base 150 now. Times two. Big old damage. Plus the special attack boost. Later, Calyrex. And then we can just foul play on top of that. Psh, 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 big old damage. Big old damage. Get this dude out of here. We outplayed him at the end there. He had a huge turn with that rock side, but that wide guard from Lunala, that was superb. It was superb. And we grabbed ourselves a win here. Going one and one. Should be two and oh. I'm so upset at that first battle, but this will put us at uh this will put us at one and one. There it is. And now we can hop into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We're well, not a perfect record, a winning record. I've been seeing people use Shed Ninja all over the rank ladder. Definitely a cool Pokemon, but a pain in the neck to go up against due to its Wonder Guard ability. But let's see if we can grab ourselves a winning record here in our third and final battle. We're going up against a Shed Ninja team with Kai Ogre, Zacian, Kingdra with the Swift Swim. Then he has Indeedee and Intimidate Landorus. Okay, um, how am I playing this one? I gotta make sure I bring in Pokemon that have super effective moves up against that little buggy bug. So I think Sneasel is really good, dude. Sneasel has been tons of fun to use. I've been loving the Sneasel. Storm Drake Gaston's a must here. A lot of water Pokemon. Got to bring in the Storm Drain Gash in the back end. We could go Sneasel, Ho-Oh. Go Sneasel, Ho-Oh. For a lead. Could be solid. Or Sneasel, Lunala could be good as well. Fake out maybe Meteor Beam set up and roll off from there. That's not too bad. Then bring Ho-Oh in the back end. What's my plan here? Might not even need you. We could go here. Umbreon, Lunala. And nah, nah, nah. I really like Sneasel, dude. Sneasel's just nice with it. Sneasel's just nice with it. We're going to bring Lunala Ho, and then we got to bring that Storm Drink Ash on, like I said, for this third final battle. Sneasel's just nice with it. I love it. I love it. Plus, it has a super effective shot onto the uh, Shen Ninja. I love Sneasel, dude. Icy Winds can fly. We can do a lot. We can do a lot with him. Just really liking this Pokemon a lot. Just really, really liking him. But 
Let's see who he's going to lead. I feel like he, he's going to lead maybe the Kaiwa Kingcha combo. I don't know why. I have, a, I have an odd feeling about that one. We'll see who, who he wants to poke out here. He's going to go into what I say. Kingdra Kyogre combo. He rolling out with the combo. Combo's going to roll out here. I could pick out the uh, the Kyogre here. Or I can leave it be. I'm not going to swap this here. I'm just going to pick out the Kyogre and drop a Meteor Beam. I do not see uh, Kyogre Dynamaxing. I see what's called Dynamaxing more. Do I even Meteor Beam? Which I do. Yeah, that's Meteor Beam. Let's get this boost right here. Let's get this boost. I can see him Dynamaxing that, uh, that Kingdra, right? It's gotta be the Kingdra. No way it's Kyogre, so Pick Out could be a good turn for us. And I'm hoping Sneasel can get a turn, or we can swap with the Gash. We'll see. We'll see who he wants to play, but there's the Dynamax from the Kingdra, obviously, over the Kyogre. And we'll roll out from here. We shall roll out from here. Rolling out, baby. Is he gonna protect Kyogre? What's he doing with Kyogre? He's gonna stay in. He's gonna stay in with Kyogre, so we're gonna pick him out. I think we're gonna swap somebody next turn for Gash on. See if I can get a nice little read. He's going to go for the airstream. That's fine. He's going to go into the Sneasel slot there, which is... I'm cool with. I'm cool with. I am cool with that. Definitely cool with that. Definitely cool with that. So he goes for the airstream. He's going to show his life orb. And that thing flinches. And now we go into a meteor beam, getting a special attack boost. And chipping off some big damage on this thing. So now I'm thinking of just swapping the Sneasel so I can have fake out later in the match. Into the Gastron, and then trying to get off a Moon Blast onto the King Jelly, get off some big damage. It'd be a great play from us, but still, that what's called scaring me. That what's called is scaring me. The Kyogre still scares me. It still scares me. The reason I say that is because if he goes into Water Spout, it's still hitting my Lunala. It's still hitting my Lunala. I could go into a Wide Guard. I could go into a Wide Guard, but that might be our next turn play. That might be a next turn play. We're gonna drop our Sneasel back. We're gonna go into Storm Gastron and hope that water moves are flying. This could be nice if he goes for double water moves. That'll be gorgeous. Let's see what he goes for. An airstream's gonna fly here. Probably going after Lunala now. Yep. Lunala's gonna be able to soak. That's easy eats for a boy. And we're hoping that the uh, Kyogre is just gonna drop a uh, drop a spout or something to give me a special attack boost here. Let's see what he does. Water spout. Okay, so water spout comes out here. Lunala, if you eat this up, I'll love you forever. If Lunala eats this up, I'll love him forever. Cause that means we take out King Jr. Eat this up, Lunala, all day. Let's go. Let's go, Lunala. That's huge. That is huge. Moon Blast 5 sir. We're going to say bye-bye to King Jr. Get that fool out my face. Get that fool out my face. So we drop him all day. Um, what do we do from here? We could go for a wide guard. We could Dynamax our Gastro. We could Dynamax Gastro. Gastro's plus one. Just plus one. If he throws out Zacian, I might have to do it. See what he does. Is this going to be sad? I'm feeling it. I think it's a good play. I think it's a good play for us. The Dynamax going too quick. I'm with it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we'll go into a Moon Guys Beam if we can land it. Right into you. I'm with it. Because if we can land this Quake, Zashian should be dead no problem. This could be a great Dynamax for us. But dude, that what's called scaring me. If he Behemoth Blades into me... I'm not gonna like it. I'm not gonna like it. I'm not gonna like it. It's just some. It's just there's too much damage on Dynamax Bomb. But hopefully he doesn't think I'm Dynamaxing and he wants to go into a different move. Cause we're at 416 HP. Which is, which is gorgeous. Let's see what he goes into. Water spout coming in. I was gonna guard too. I was gonna wide guard. We're, he's gonna storm drain boost us again, which is nice. We're not gonna drop here. And what's Zassian going for? What is Zassian going for? Anything but a Behemoth Blade. We'll, Take. Okay, play rough. Cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it because now we can say bye bye to Zassian. He's gone. He's out of the game. And we get the special defense boost. As well. And we get the special defense boost. So we get rid of you. We have our Sneasel again. Which now I can just. I think he's choice into a water spell. I really do think he's choice. I really do. So I can go into Sneasel here. I can fake out and double down into that. Uh, into that Kyogre. Because if I can do some damage onto it, I can eventually get Ho -Oh out here. And clean up this battle. He's gonna go into Shed Ninja. That's gorgeous. He can have Shed Ninja in the back end for that. Shed Ninja's gonna poke through here. And I could go for an Icy one here. But that's probably not our play. Fake out's definitely our play. We are going to Quake over onto you. And we're just gonna fake out you. Does this thing rock Ally Switch? I'm kinda curious. It does not. Or it, it might, but it's not using it. Fake out comes out here. We're doubling down. And now, oh, it does rock Ally Switch. You son of a biscuit. 
You son of a biscuit. <laughs> now I have to deal with this all day. Now I have to deal with this. Wonder Guard coming out here. You son of a biscuit, man. I have to deal with this all day long. Ice Wind's not super effective to him, so we need our ho oh This is so tough. This sucks, man. We're going to hope he's not going for another ally switch. He's playing mind games with me. No ally switches. Oh, my lord. I'm just going to keep going into the Kyogre slot until, we, until he thinks that we're not going into it. This is awful. Water Spout's going to come out here. So all he can do is really Water Spout. But, dude, I need to, I need my Ho-Oh. Well, I need Kyogre dead. I need Kyogre dead. I need Kyogre dead before I can do anything. Because right now, Kyogre's just going to rip into my Ho-Oh. He's just going to rip into my Ho-Oh. But at least some rain's going to be gone. Dude, this is awful. I, I, I don't think he's going to ally switch three times. Right? Who ally switches three times? Who ally switches three times? Nobody does. Nobody ally switches three times. Nobody ally switches. There's no way he ally switches again. There's no way he ally switches again. There's just no way. So you know what? There's just no shot. Do I duck? Do I? Mm, he's probably focus Ash. I gotta protect. There's no way you ally switch three times. There's no way you ally switch three times. Cool. 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 He did not ally switch. He did not ally switch. We're plus four, yo. This should be able to just dump on Kyogre. Poltergeist coming in hot. And we block it. Don't block it. Yo, gorgeous turn for us. I need the load. I was gonna say, there's no way someone ally switches three times. Get out of here, Kyogre. Get him out of here. We're sitting in a perfect spot. That's GG's. Hey, 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 hey. Get it. 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 I'm going to yawn you. So I'm not playing around with you. And I'm just going to go on Secret Fire. Let's go. Let's go. If you would have Alice, which again, I would have cried. But battle was canceled. Winning record for you guys. Yes, sir. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A winning record for you guys. Definitely should have been a perfect record. Definitely should have been a perfect record. Because you guys know the first battle. Your boy messed up big time. Just... Just need to protect the Ho-Oh. If I did that, it was GG's. It was perfect record time, but hey, three, all three battles were phenomenal. First battle went the distance, came down the wire. Second battle, we controlled it. We won that battle. And the third and final battle, we got some work done. We got some work done. That Shen Ninja almost did us dirty, but we still got our work done and grabbed ourselves that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.